question. Do you think banks will look to offload low interest rate loans and execute the due on sale more moving forward? You know, that's been brought up a lot since interest rates um, climbed to what, eight, eight and a half percent. I think that, um, you know, rates are falling a little bit now. I think you really, Drew, have to think about what all is involved in calling a loan due. And there are a couple of, of different things. Uh, first of all, it's more than just calling a loan due and then somebody immediately pays you off. A lot of people won't be in a position to do that. So if the bank is taking back a large number of houses strictly due to the due on sale clause being an issue, I, I just don't think that's going to be a healthy thing for the bank. Let's just say, for example, that most people... Uh, can't refinance or can't pay it off and the bank has to foreclose on all these houses. Well, there's a lot of cost involved in that. There are attorney's fees that obviously the people aren't going to be paying, so the bank will have to pay. Uh, then there's the liability of just holding that house. If there's all of a sudden a big increase in foreclosures because banks are having to call loans due, and they're sitting on a lot of inventory. What happens when there's a lot of inventory and houses for sale and prices drop? So I don't think that that's really something that we're going to see happening. I think in most cases, you have some options if the bank does call the loan due, either some kind of formal assumption. Uh, I think they're going to be open to working with people. I think, and this is based on 25 years of experience, that if you handle two things properly, you're not going to have a due on sale issue. The bank doesn't care. I don't think they have people out there looking uh, for deed transfers. I mean, I may be wrong. I don't know. But there's some effort that would go into that, too. I think banks make loans and they want to get paid. And it's just not going to be a problem for you. So if you handle insurance properly, if you make the payments on time, I don't think uh, the bank is is going to care what you do. You know, there are a lot of people out there. I'm telling you, there, there are a lot of things going on in the marketplace right now, I think, that can create some problems. Uh, the biggest issue right now that I see is, is the assignment of a sub two purchase. You've got a, a wholesaler that, 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 you know, wholesalers flooded into the creative space, you know, a year or two ago when the market changed and wholesale deals were harder to, to come by. And, and, you know, you, you know about half of what you need to know. So you go out there, you use a bunch of, you know, crappy contracts and you try to get some stuff locked up. In a lot of cases, these guys don't even have a power of attorney, but they, they piece together a sub two deal, close with the seller and then they try to assign that to somebody else for $10,000 or $20,000 or $50,000. And other new investors buy that deal. They pay that money. And, you know, they don't fulfill their promises. And there's problems. And the seller doesn't know the new buyer. They don't know who's in control of the house. They made a deal with the wholesaler. So I think there are going to be a lot of those deals that are going bad. A lot of new people that don't know what they need to know to handle those things properly. That could create a problem. I'm more worried about legislation that stops sub two than I am about banks calling loans due. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.